हेलो स्टूडेंट हाव यू ऑल वंस अगेन वी आर मीटिंग विद अवर सब्जेक्ट जोग्रफी सो वेलकम टू ऑल इन अवर दिस वीडियो इन लास्ट लेसन वी हैड स्टार्टेड अवर लेसन नंबर टू लेट इज यूज द ग्रैटिकू इन दिस लेसन वी हैड अ लर्न दैट हाउ टू यूज द ग्रैटिकू वी हैड अ लर्न how to determining the location of places extent of region extent of linear feature with the help of parallels and meridians in this lesson i am going to introduce you some of the important parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude before that let us review some of the important concept which are help us to understand the next part of our lesson student we had learned that the horizontal imaginary lines on the globe are called parallel or parallels of latitude there are 181 parallels of latitude on the earth so we are going to introduce some of the important parallels of latitude among them similarly we had also learned that vertical semi circular lines on the globe are called meridians of longitude there are 360 meridians of longitude on the earth we are also going to introduce some important meridians of longitude in this part student observe the figure you can see in this figure some important parallels of latitude so now i am going to start number 1 0 degree parallel or the equator it is the largest parallel and it is also a great circle so this largest parallel this great circle is beside our earth in two same part that's why this parallel is considered as a zero degree parallel next 23 degree 30 minute north and 23 degree 30 minute south these are known as tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn respectively the importance of this parallels of latitude is that the region between 23 degree north to 23 degree south receive perpendicular sun rays from the sun on two days in the year and the region other than between the 23 degree 30 minute north to 23 degree 30 minute south do not receive perpendicular sun rays ever that's why these two are important parallels of latitude among 181 parallels onward next 66 degree 30 minute north and 66 degree 30 minute south these are known as arctic circle and antarctic circle respectively these are also known as polar circles The region between sixty-six degree thirty minute north to sixty-six degree thirty minute south, the daytime lasts within the limit of twenty-four hours throughout the year, and the region between sixty-six degree thirty minute north to ninety degree north means North Pole, and sixty degree thirty uh, minute south to ninety degree south means South Pole. The daytime is depending upon the season. day time can be more than 24 hours so this is the importance or this is the difference of these parallels of latitude that's why these are also important parallels of latitude among 181 parallels next up the poles north pole and south pole the day time is depending upon the season at the pole the maximum duration of sun appearance in the sky can be of the 6 month the sun continues to move in the spiral on the horizon at the pole 
so that's why this parallel it is also important this is the difference of this parallel than the other parallels and that's why it is also important parallels among 181 parallel due to the duration and intensity of sunlight different temperature zone are formed on the earth and this temperature zone give the rise to pressure belt this regional diversity is observed or its effect in the animal and plant life due to the variation in the intensity of sunlight we found the various kinds of diversity in the plants and animal life now i am going to introduce some of the important longitudes number 1 0 degree longitude it is also known as a prime meridian or a greenwich meridian it is used to fix the global standard time or a greenwich mean time this time is used to coordinate standard time of other countries our indian standard time is 5 hour 30 minutes ahead of greenwich mean time similarly other countries also coordinate their standard time of greenwich mean time next up 180 degree meridian this meridian is like opposite to the 0 degree meridian or prime meridian other meridians are marked from prime meridian in both east and west direction till the 180 degree meridian for example you can see in the figure in eastern direction 30 degree east 60 degree east 90 degree east 120 degree east 150 degree east similarly in western direction 30 degree west 60 degree west 90 degree west 120 degree west 150 degree west so all the meridians are marked from prime meridian in both east and west direction till the 180 degree meridian next up the international deadline is also marked with the reference to the 180 degree meridian so student this is the difference or importance of 180 degree meridian among all the 360 meridian so all the pairs of opposite meridian from a great circle just like the equator and these pairs of opposite meridian uh, beside the earth in two same part all the great circles are very useful for finding the minimum distance between any two place on the surface student on page number 30 do you know this part is key for your self study so read this part very carefully and understand how to determine the location of small extent of region thus from this lesson we had a learn the using of graticule uh, we had a learn how to determining the location of places extent of region extent of linear feature with the help of parallels and meridian we also saw some important parallels and meridians from this lesson thank you